Well, I think they're, they're doing a lot in terms of, at least the ones I know of, they're doing a lot in terms of reaching out to their customers and letting them know about the different things that are still available to reduce their water use. Um, in San Francisco, the utility here has done a lot of work on that in terms of it. now the, the uh, per capita use is down to 49 gallons per person per day, which is actually very, very low. It's probably about a third of a lot of the water users throughout the state of California. That's, that's, uh, that's an interesting one. Um, I think that um, uh, one of the ones that's, that is, is a, a future project is probably going to be looked at in the future would be recycling. And I think that's, the, it, that's a, sometimes a tough sell um, because people, there's the, you know, the ick factor, like I don't want recycled water. Um, but that's, um, that's going to be one that, that may be effective in the future. In fact, I think it's going to have to happen in the future, uh, but that's going to take a lot of education, a lot of interface with the customers to make it happen. Right now they can do a lot in terms of letting them know of different uh, fixtures and that sort of thing to reduce water use. I think you, you have to think of the future, and you can't think about, oh, it's raining outside today and things are going to be over. You have to think, and, and as someone, you know, I ran this water utility, and I am involved in working with a number of large cities um, in uh, water and challenges. You have to look to the future. You have to think about uh, 20, 30, 40 years from now, and you start planning for that, because water infrastructure does not happen quickly. It takes many years to, one, get the money in place to do it, and then secondly, to actually put the program in place usually takes a long time, many years as well. So you have to think 30, 40 years in the future. And I think a lot of utilities are thinking about there may be more droughts, drier climate uh, in the future. And I think they're looking at that. I think it could have a, a, a significant, they'll, they'll rely more on groundwater, which may, of course, stress uh, some of those uh, underground aquifers. Uh, so that that's so it's that's a it's a very tough situation. Um, a lot of those um, uh, aquifers are used to, for our crops here in California, and that's a, still a significant um, uh, part of of California is is the, our agricultural business. Well, for example, I will tell you that those uh, utilities and there's a lot of utilities that have uh, you know our water comes from many utilities comes out of the mountains. And with coming down the hills and those mountains means that that's, that's a good source of hydropower. And usually hydropower, you can count on it for many months of the year because the water is stored in the snow. But with no water storage in the snow, and as I think many Californians know, 60% of our water is not in a reservoir. It's normally stored in the snow. But with little or no snowpack, it means that storage, which is ongoing, uh, hydro, when that snow melts, that's ongoing hydropower. And for, for, for this year it will be, and possibly for in future years, may be, very, uh, may be impacted. That's a very good, clean um, source of energy as well. I, I think you have to look at, you have to look at uh, not only uh, urban use and, as I mentioned before, water reuse and be more... Uh, aggressive in, what, in, in, in water reuse, water recycling, but also you have to look at your agriculture and the, and the type of crops. Uh, are, we, are we growing those crops as efficiently as possible? Um, some areas of the state, I think they've gotten much more efficient, and others they're not as efficient. And how can you make them more efficient? Because that is our biggest use of water is in our agriculture. Uh, ACOM tries to be forward-looking and, and give advice to its customers on sustainability how they can be a more sustainable uh, uh, water provider. Um, and I think we're going to be able to provide a lot of value. Uh, we're providing value now. We'll provide value in the coming years.